Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fall haul because I've gotten a lot of stuff recently. May or may not have almost filled my credit card limit. Just saying. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, so yeah, this is gonna be a combination of clothing, accessories, and a little bit of makeup and skincare stuff too. So it's a bit of everything, it's really exciting. I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be a bit long. I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so before I get into the clothes, I'm probably not gonna be showing these on my body or anything, like try on shots of it, but I will give you close ups of the like textures in the shirts. And then later, I'm gonna do a lookbook, which you'll probably see the majority of this stuff anyway, cause it's new and fall and exciting. So yeah, I'm gonna start with dynamite. I got two top, well, one's a bodysuit, one's a top. They're technically tops, okay? I got two new white dressy tops from dynamite. The first one I picked up, you guys already saw this um, in my August favorites, the collab with Shauna Mini, I wore this shirt. This is kind of similar to the um, dark purple one that I wore in my summer look book. The kind of casual, less uh, pronounced or less defined peplum at the bottom. It's the exact same structured shirt, but this one got this nice like white mesh triangle. So you see a little bit of cleavage, but it's not too overdone and it has the same mesh in the shoulders. So yeah, this is really comfortable. It's a great dress shirt. I think it was around 40 bucks. And yeah, if you like these type of tops too, I do recommend it. And the bodysuit that I recently picked up from Dynamite looks a little something like this. It's got these two straps in the front that really like accentuate the boobs, you know what I mean? In a good way. Um, it just makes my chest look really good. And then in the back, it's inside out right now because I just ironed it last night, but it's got this like crisscross like X pattern in the back. This is really cute on. I cannot wait to pair this with leggings and some booties or heels. I actually plan on wearing this this weekend. I'm going on a bus crawl, so yeah. This is really cute. I'm really excited to wear this. I also think this was around 40 bucks. So their dress shirts are around 40, which is usually my cap for what I pay for a dress shirt these days, just because of how quickly I go through them and use them and stuff. So yeah, that's it from Dynamite. Now I'm gonna go into two tops that I got from American Eagle Outfitters. All right, so the first shirt that I got from American Eagle Outfitters is one of those long sleeve cold shoulder shirts, I guess they're called. Looks a little something like this. I don't know if you can still get this. I'm sorry if it's already sold out and they're not carrying it anymore but I'm sure lots of other stores carry shirts similar to this. So as you can see, there's cutouts in the shoulders. Surprisingly more flattering than I thought it was gonna be. I tried it on and it was super comfortable because it's that nice stretchy material. It's kind of like cotton, but not really. It's a little bit higher, harder to like iron and stuff, to be honest. But it's called the Soft and Sexy Tee, I guess, but it has like the cutouts in the shoulders. And the coloring is like a blush rose uh, type of pink and white tie-dye which is actually really nice. And tie-dye has really come back in the past year or so. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to wear this more often. It's just been too warm at school to be wearing like anything fall. Like me and a couple of the girls in one of my classes were talking about this and how we wanted to wear our scarves and our boots, but we can't cause we will cook, like literally cook. Like even most days, oops, even most days, like I, I can't even get my foundation to last and look good throughout the day just cause I'm sweating so much. So yeah, hopefully it'll cool down soon so I can start being a hashtag basic fall girl because I really want to be one now. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> actually, yeah, I think today is the official first day of fall. It's the 22nd as I film this. So yeah, it's actually the first day of fall. So how fitting to do a fall haul on the first day of fall. And the other top that I got from American Eagle is actually a sweater. I fell in love with this one, tried it on. I was so excited. Uh, let me find the official name of this. It looks like this. I got the dark maroon color. It comes in a bunch of different colors. At my store, it's on the very front table where you walk in. There's no official name on this, but I will link everything that I possibly can from this haul down in the description. So if you're looking for this and you want to order it online or whatever, um, I will have that in the description. So yeah, I got it in an extra large. It's nice and baggy. It covers the stomach area really well. Has a nice a small scoop neck so you can easily wear a nice big scarf with it and you're not going to see that at all if you don't want to but it's still nice and thin enough that you're not going to sweat to death so i feel like once it gets a little colder probably more in the winter than the fall to be quite honest um, but yeah this is just going to be great i'm so excited to wear this sweater and the last item of clothing i want to share with you you actually already saw in a video but i don't care this is a shirt from uh, Rio or Eclipse. I got mine at Rio in the Avalon Mall. It looks like this. I wore this in my last empties video So you would have seen how this like looks on me in terms of the straps. I think that looks really cool It's kind of one of those new trends. I've really gone more towards the current trends for this fall I just I really like them. So I decided to participate in them, but it's just this nice stretchy uh, maroon tank top 
This looks really nice paired with a jean jacket. My best friend Jill actually has the same shirt and uh, it does look really good with denim. So yeah, probably going to be wearing it with like leggings and a denim jacket or something like that. But uh, yeah, really nice. Highly recommend if you could still get it. I don't know if it's available or not, but I'll try and look for it online or something similar. All right, now let's move on to accessories. So I'm going to start with the accessories that aren't jewelry first and then the jewelry. The first one is a really nice new fall winter scarf. I'm super excited about this. I'm very picky when it comes to my plaid fall winter scarves. They're so on trend now for the past couple of years. And I finally found one that was like less than 50 bucks that I really liked and I was able to purchase in person. So I saved, <laughs> I saved so much on shipping and stuff for that. So this one I found at Garage Clothing. It looks like this. They call it their rectangle blanket scarf, I think. Let me find the tag. I know it cost uh, $26 plus tax, so it was around $30, which was great. It was exactly what I was looking for in terms of the price range. Okay, so apparently I took the tag off already, but I will link it down below if it's still available. It's very soft. It's not too thick. Like, it does feel significantly warm around my neck, but I feel like once it gets really cold, this is going to be so nice to wear. You could also kind of just throw this over your shoulders if you're just wearing like a t-shirt and you get a little cold in like a classroom or something. So yeah, I really like this scarf. Highly recommend it if you can still get it. Again, if it is available, I'll link it down below. Next up is socks. I can't find the second pair that I purchased. They're here somewhere in the house, but I can't really find them. So whatever, we'll just pretend that I have both pairs here. They're pretty similar. I got some of the new uh, crew socks from American Eagle. These are kind of pricey compared to like buying them at like Walmart or something, but this year's are so nice. I do think they're worth it. Individually priced, they are $10 each Canadian, uh, but they're just super soft. They're thin enough that you're not gonna sweat or take up too much room in your boots. And I really like the height of them. These could work well for Uggs or you can put them in tall boots, obviously, and not have them showing at all. But at first I got this pair, which has gray, ivory, and it looks like a dusty rose color going through it. It's kind of like a heathered pattern. They're kind of striped. And I also got a plain, well, not plain. They're like a grayish blue and ivory heathered mix, but they don't have any stripes on them. So that's what the second pair looks like. They're both the same like material. They're super soft, they're super thin, stretchy, easy to wear. I found the ones that I bought last year from American Eagle, just they weren't stretchy enough, like, and they were like really long and yeah, I like these so much better. I definitely recommend getting some of these this year. They're so nice. I have one set of bracelets and two necklaces to share with you. The first is the bracelet set. This is kind of more of a summary thing. I got it in the clearance rack at Aldo Accessories. Um, but yeah, my mom was picking up a necklace and she was like, you want to pick out something? I was like, oh, these are pretty for next summer. I'll get these. Um, so I think these were the item that were half price. But anyways, a set of their stretchy beaded bracelets, which are like my favorite thing ever. If you guys tell my lookbooks, I'm constantly wearing stretchy bracelets. Uh, but these are like a mixture of yellow, coral, corally orange, pink, gold, um, and some mixtured other stuff in there. There's yellow and blue and everything. So they're just nice and summery. And yeah, I probably won't be wearing these too much yet, but come spring, I'm breaking them out. Also from Aldo Accessories is a necklace that I absolutely love. Actually, uh, well, technically I got it at the Aldo shoe store because we have both in our mall now. We have the accessory store and the shoe one. But you know what I mean. I will link it down below because I'm pretty sure this is still available. There was like two or three left on the, sh the rack when I bought this one. But this is a beautiful necklace. I'm so excited to wear this. It's a little bit different than what I have in my other statement necklaces because this one has marble. Well, I don't know if it's real or fake, but it has like marble gems mixed in with the clear rhinestones. You got a bunch of nice chunky gold hardware. And the necklace is like itself is like two little suede ropes with gold polka dots all over them. I thought this was so cool. I actually purchased this for an upcoming wedding I'm going to in October. So I'm kind of reusing one of my dresses from last year and just pairing it with different accessories. So that's the necklace that I'm going to be wearing and I'm really excited. Um, I'm thinking of doing a like kind of get ready with me tutorial and outfit and then outfit. Also and include like the outfit at the end if I have time to film it. So if you're interested in that, give me a big thumbs up on this video so I know that you are interested in that. So yeah, that necklace is really pretty. I've only, I've only worn it for a couple of hours when I went out for coffee. And the last piece of jewelry I got, I almost wore for this video, but it just didn't go with this shirt. Like it's too high up. If I would have, I would have had to unbutton this top one and half my boobs were hanging out. So I'm gonna wear it in a future video so you'll see it more. But this is my first choker since back in the day when everyone was wearing chokers. Um, this, putting this on feels like such a throwback to me. Like I, I can't even. 
but these have been popular now for a couple of months and I'm really excited to have my own now. I think was, this one was like $12, $13. So you get one like fake leather strap black solid choker part with a little silver, no, not silver. <laughs> it has a little circle that's gold, like just there in the center that hangs directly in the center of your neck. And then it has a separate simple gold chain with a little stick of gold metal at the bottom. So you have like a two layered choker and chain necklace basically. So yeah, really excited to test this out. Um, hopefully you'll see that in a future video. So yeah, this was from uh, Dynamite. So that's all the accessories. Now let's get into the beauty and makeup stuff. From the drugstore, I picked up a new lipstick. Actually, it wasn't that recently. I actually bought this a while ago when these first came out here in Newfoundland because I knew if I waited, I probably wouldn't get this shade. But they actually are more available now, so hopefully you should be able to find this if you want it too. This is from the new Maybelline Bolds collection, the new blue cap ones. These are so cool. Um, I have the shade Mauve It, which is absolutely beautiful. I am wearing it today with Max uh, Soar lip liner. And it actually matches really well, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, this is so pretty. I will be inserting a swatch for you guys. It is just this really nice dark mauve -y shade, which is perfect for fall and winter. So yeah, that's why I'm wearing it right now. I'm really excited about it. And you guys know if you've been watching me for a long time that I love Maybelline lipsticks. So they're definitely my favorite drugstore brand as of right now. And as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I love Maybelline lipsticks. So I had to try out one from that range. And that was the shade that kind of jumped out at me the most. Um, there's also another deep one that I really like. Uh, I might pick it up called Midnight Merlot, I think it's called. It's a little bit more of a deeper red berry color, so I might try that too, but yeah. That one is awesome. This is the second time I've worn it and I absolutely love it. Next, I went to Sephora. The day I went in there, it was really crazy. It was like the last day of the three times the points or whatever it was. Um, and I didn't go in there specifically because of that promotion. I just went in because I was at the mall shopping and uh, First, I picked up two things, um, but I want to show you the samples I got first. I got three samples. Um, I also ran into uh, Becca from Just a Bit of Becca. She is a blogger here in Newfoundland, so I'll link her blog down below. She's working at Sephora now, and it's so nice to meet you, Becca. Uh, but first, I picked up the um, a sample of the Sephora Mud Mask. I think it's called the Mattifying and Purifying Mask or something. I've only tried it once so far. It wasn't that effective on my face, to be quite honest, but I'm going to give it another go, and I'll let you guys know in my future empties if it did a better job the second time around. Uh, the next one I picked up was the Makeup Forever Water Blend in R250. That was the shade that I got matched with. Um, I'm not going to talk about this too much, but I wasn't too impressed. So I'll talk about that more in a future empties. And I also only tried this one so far. I don't really have an opinion on this yet, but it's the Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade 1. So yeah, I've only used it once, um, but I was sweating a lot when I wore it, so I don't know if that made it look kind of weird at the end of the day, but I'm gonna try it again. I really do like this one better than the water blend, at least for my skin, so I will keep you posted on this as well. So yeah, that's the three samples. And then the two items that I actually purchased is a concealer and a liner. So the concealer that I got was the Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream. This claims to be waterproof. I wear the shade one, the lightest one. Um, this is pretty good so far. It's definitely better than the drugstore concealers I've tried. I bought this more for like spots and redness and stuff. So I haven't been using it enough yet to really know how I love it and how the best way to apply it is, but I will keep you posted. And I also picked up a liner. This is really exciting. I've been waiting like a month for this to come out here. And yes, I just made it click. I might have given it away. This is the Lancome Grandiose Liner in black. I'm wearing this for the first time today. I don't know if you can tell or not from back here. It's very deeply pigmented black. It dries down perfectly matte. It's beautiful. This liner has like the one of those really pointy, thin, precise sponge applicators. Like if you look really close, it does look like a sponge. It's a little bit more flexible and stuff. Um, it was pretty easy to use. I think the Kat Von D is a little easier for me to apply, but I do really like the way this looks so far. And I love how deep and matte and pigmented it is. So yeah, I'm really excited to have this. This is a really cool feature though, how you can like click this in different directions if you need to get like a certain angle. So that's really cool. Um, I bought this because Fleur talked about it and I really wanted it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks Fleur. <laughs> really good recommendation. <laughs> and last but not least, we are moving on to the Shepherd's Drug Mart Beauty Boutique. I may have picked up a few things last night. A little more than I went in there for, but that's okay. 
Let's start with what I actually went in there for. This is the Life Brand Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. I don't know if you guys have been obsessed with these videos too, but everyone's been making these peel-off mask videos about like charcoal peel-off masks and how they literally take all the crap out of your skin. And I was really excited and I noticed that a website recommended this one from Shoppers Drug Mart. Apparently it was really effective. I used it twice last night. Like I you literally put it on, ripped it off, didn't see much results, put it on again, and I only really was able to take out one whitehead. So I'm gonna keep playing with it a little bit more. Maybe my skin is just clearer. Like I don't know, maybe I'm actually doing a decent job of cleaning my skin. I don't know, but it wasn't as effective as I expected, so I still might order in some charcoal and mix it with glue and try that. But uh, yeah, it was okay. The good news is I only paid like five bucks for this. This was on sale. Um, I think all the Life Brand products were 15% off or something, so I didn't pay a ton of cash for this. It's not like I'm out 50 bucks, but yeah. It wasn't really what I expected. The next thing I picked up was actually a recommendation from one of the girls working there last night. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water, the waterproof one. Apparently everyone raves about this. And I think Amanda has it too. I did use it a little bit at her house, but I can't remember exactly how much I liked it. I'm running out of Bioderma and I needed a new micellar water as a backup, so she recommended this one. Apparently all the girls are using this now instead of Bioderma, so I figured I would give it a go and I'll let you guys know what I think. And then the last three items I picked up are basically just backups for when things run out. So the first one is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Moisture Conditioner in the pink caps, not the green caps. Remember that brain fart that I had, that was so funny. Um, but yeah, this is the conditioner because I'm almost out of the conditioner and I still have like probably up to there in shampoo. So yeah, definitely enough for me to use up another conditioner because I go through a crap ton of conditioner, as you can tell. My hair is pretty long, so yeah. I do like this enough to have repurchased it. Next up is a backup of my all-time favorite Holy Grail Ride or Die Mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly in Black is Black Non-Waterproof. This is my favorite. I had to get another tube of it. It's so good. So good. Get it. The last thing that I picked up to uh, have as a backup is my favorite pressed setting powder right now. This is the Rimmel Clear Complexion Face Powder. I love this one. I've hit pan on the one I have right now, so I decided to go ahead and get a backup for when that runs out. And yeah, that's everything that I picked up in the past, like, month. <laughs> it's what I've been spending my money on recently. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, give it a big thumbs up if you love hauls like I do. I love shopping and I love making hauls about my shopping problem. Uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna put a big button right there somewhere. I don't know if that's gonna be lined up in the shot, but whatever. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway when I reach 300 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you don't miss that giveaway. It includes a MAC lipstick, just saying. And yeah, that's it. I will be back with my next video soon. Hopefully, when I actually have time to edit, because this semester is absolutely insane. Like, it's, it's so busy. Like, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna get up this fall, to be quite honest with you. I'm hoping to get up at least two tags that I've been tagged in and a lookbook. Other than that, I don't know how much I'm gonna have time for, so yeah, it's just a lot of presentations and labs and stuff, so it's taking up a lot of my time. So anyway, I'm sure you guys understand if you've been in school, you know that education is very important, so obviously I need to focus on that. So yeah, I will be back with my next video as soon as I can. Bye!